Hello everybody and welcome back to an episode of The Streak. We are jumping in again. 13 Streak, baby. Let's open up our randomizer. Sometimes I do it before the episode, sometimes I do it after. It just depends if I remember. And today I did not remember. So let's see who we end up getting. Do, 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 do. Oh, dude, mate. It just keeps giving me Lazarus. Fuck's sake. Give me someone I haven't played yet. Okay, Eve. There you go. We haven't done Eve. I, I don't mind getting repeat characters, but not so soon back to back. And like, it just keeps giving me that. But anyways, we'll do Eve. Eve can be a little bit of a tricky one, uh, because obviously there's kind of the risk of where you want to do your health, um, what you want to do with your damage and HP. I think I'm going to stick with low damage just to start with, um, and then see if we get hit. Also, gotta love the hair physics, baby. Gotta love the hair physics. But yeah, just in case we get, like, duped by a champion or something, I don't want to be stuck in a situation where... Um, I'm able to be one shot. I think that would be pretty foolish. Three fools gold rocks though is, is kind of nice here. Um, it'd be good to get a bomb and destroy those because that could be upwards of like 10 go uh, ten coins, which could be kind of nice. Um, I could go into my curse room here, although it's a little bit risky. I think I'm going to go do it anyways, just in case. Um, Damocles for 20. Um, obviously on the streak, a little bit risky. But maybe if I got 20, I'd potentially take that deal. Like, that's... It's sketchy, but... I don't know. I, I did it on the other run, and I got really lucky, but that wasn't on the streak, so... A little bit different. Damocles is... Dam I think Damocles is one of those things that I'd probably take if it's late enough into the run. Because it, it needs to be so late into the run that it's not likely to fall, but not too late that you're not getting many items out of it. You it wants to be something you can gain good value out of. Um, it's kind of a weird one, really. Okay, head-throwing guys are, uh, not ideal for us. Luckily, their heads are easy enough to destroy. I should probably take out these little goobers first. I, I think Eve has, is, like, the best character to have hair physics on, to be honest. It's, like, it's one of those mods that literally I have no need to have on, but it's it's funny. I like it. It's just a little bit of style to the, uh, to the characters. A little bit of something extra. And then you're still hip hippity hopping around. Hopefully our first item room here actually gives us something good. Um, honestly, our streak thus far, the item rooms have been pretty saucy. Um, we've been getting some good stuff on the first floor, so I'm hoping for uh, some good stuff here, but we'll see. Now, not a big fan of that, but activating our damage bonus there is kind of nice. Don't, I said, don't spawn more, you dick. But he did. We'll take the half heart back, honestly, just in case. We did get our bomb. Uh, I am going to look for a tinted rock first, because I think that's slightly more valuable than the money. Um, but still, regardless, we have the choice. We have a backup plan in place. Okay, these guys, this is probably a room I'm getting hit in. Uh, actually, we might be okay. One thing that's kind of interesting about the reworked furs is like those little corn fly things, whatever you want to call them. Obviously, the ant intended the room isn't designed with them working that way in mind, so they can sometimes cause some issues. Which is kind of interesting. Dude, these guys have a lot of HP, man. So a lot of shots to kill. A lot of shots to kill. Grab that real quick. Unfortunately, another big room here. I'm not Liking the amount of big rooms it's throwing our way right now. It is a bit unfortunate. How many shots did it kill these guys? Four, I think? Or five? Ah, oh, that was a bit of a bad hit there. I think I might let Dead Bird take care of the last one, to be honest. I can't be asked going over there. Hey, there's a second bomb that allows us to get a Tinted Rock as well if there is one. And Guppy's Pride, honestly not great, but it is a Guppy item, and the earlier we get Guppy's Pride, the better it is. Basically, every floor we get an additional Guppy's Head Familiar. Um, and honestly, Familiars, while obviously their damage isn't great, the earlier you get them, the more value you can get out of them. As for the question of the day today, um, what's something that's, like, unexpectedly good at the moment? What, what In your life, food, I don't know, anything, what, what's something at the minute you're, like you think is unexpectedly good or has been unexpectedly good for you recently i think that'd be rather interesting for me it's been like i've been trying to eat a bit more healthily and stuff like that and um it's just been like certain additives to food like i know that msg is well known to be amazing but it's just it heightens everything even if the, even if it keeps the food relatively healthy and it's, it's just awesome to be able to um have something like that that I can add to my food that obviously I'm not adding at all the goddamn time, but 
I can add to my food and it can be pretty goddamn good for adding a good bit of flavor. All right, this should blow all three of these up, I think. Yeah, there you go. And we get ourselves 11 cent. I'm gonna gamble here and I'm gonna go and blow up these pots as well to try and get up to 15 cent. Obviously, I won't blow up all of them, but really nothing? Okay. I went for the gamble, unfortunately didn't pay off. Right. Yeah, I'm not too worried about taking damage here, because I will gain damage from it, but I'd rather not, it's mainly because of this. These goddamn goobers. Bugger off. I really wish his uh, bombs did damage to himself as well, that'd make this boss a lot easier, but... I also kind of understand why it doesn't work that way, because it might make him too easy. But he's probably going to spawn more dudes, yeah. Okay. He's not actually too bad, to be honest. We can also bait him out of this attack pretty easily with the swipe there. It's a little hard to do, because you have to get very close to him in between his bursts of shots. Okay, now we're in danger zone, because I took enough damage to get one shot. We're okay. Caffeine pill is nice. I'll take the pill as well. Look up. I'm going to quickly go and regain my health over here. I'm liking this extra speed, man. I'm liking this extra speed. But I will quickly go and uh, grab this. To make sure we're at full HP. While while we're on a streak, I don't want to be playing it at 1 HP. Unless I get the, uh, the soul heart to maintain. Because otherwise it's kind of problematic. Either way, let's go down to the next floor. We've got okay money, uh, a single key. Items aren't that great. I like the speed up. I like Guppy's pride because it, a treasure room Guppy item is just kind of rare. Um, and, and as I said as well, it's, it's one of those items where it gets, it literally is better. It gets better the earlier you get it in a run. And getting it on the first floor means that we get one of these Guppy's heads every single floor. And although their damage is low, I think it's only 3.5, like a ghost baby level. Being able to get up to like eight ghost babies by the end of the run is, is not is not bad. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. I mean, it's like wh while we're weak, while we've got low damage, we're going to notice the extra damage a lot more. Yeah, I had a feeling that would happen, but I, I kind of just let it happen. Oh, Okay, so this, this room is kind of designed for these guys to just kill themselves, I guess. And destroy some pots for us. That was not what I was hoping to happen there. My god. I didn't uh, notice that that uh, little fly was next to me. Wasn't paying enough attention, I guess. So we lost our devil deal already, which obviously isn't great. Blessed Penny is a very good trinket to get early on here. Yeah, Blessed Penny's very, very nice. Oh, bugger. Down to one heart already. I mean, obviously that makes our stats a lot better, but it puts us in a slightly more risky position. Crackling Slag is a great item. Oh, got a bit of lag there. Unfortunately, not particularly happy with uh, with this room layout here. This is kind of sketchy. I'd very much like a bomb to get those, uh, those rocks to try and get some Holy Penny uh, procs, Bless Penny procs. And that key as well. Ooh, petrified poop for right now is nice. Right, then we grab that. And we hope for a single half soul heart from one of these. Damn it. Damn it, game. Damn it. You're putting me in a risky position here. We'll pop in here real quick. Um... Restock is probably worth. I'll buy that as well because a look upgrade is worth. And I will buy a red heart here just for safety's sake. As much as I don't want to. We've got the razor blade to get back into our other form when we want to anyways. So. Honestly, Crackling Slag is a great item to get here. And it does synergize with tier effects as well. So we can get some interesting stuff going on from that, off the back of that. We'll hope that that's the case soon. Key, come on, give us a bomb. Just a single little bomb is all I need. Oh, you just went straight to the fire. There's that bomb. And I'm hoping off the back of this, we can get, obviously, a good bit of money, which will be useful now that we've got restock. We get a key out of it too. Then hopefully, we get half a soul heart. 
Ah, you bastard. I mean, the chances, I think it's only like 17% to get a half soul heart. Wasn't obviously guaranteed at all, but I was just, I was herping. I was herping and praying. Let's just keep it going. Oh, you bastard. That was so stupid of me. My, God, my bad. Nice. Fire's doing some good stuff there. Take you out real quick. I'm going to say the fires, the crackling slag is random. I don't think it's luck based or anything, so we can't really do anything to affect how often it happens. But it seems regular enough to be augmenting our damage to a reasonable degree. More pennies. Unfortunately, yet again, not really what we need, but if we get a half soul heart of it, there you go. Now we can do this and finally have the extra damage and feel safe. Okay. Happy days. Happy days, people. Happy days. Ugh. Yeah, it's been a little bit of a stressful day. I spoke about it in my previous episode earlier today about... Um, I'm stuck here. One second. I don't like this. Go back, go back. Um, spoke about it earlier today in a previous episode that I had to do some, um, some corporate espionage. A little bit dramatic, but I had to like call up a company um, under false pretenses to gain information. It just felt it felt scummy, and I felt bad about it. And it just ugh, it's made me feel icky all day. And it's it's not stressful inherently, but it's like giving me post stress. Do people get this? I, I don't know about you, but like I I don't stress a whole lot. Um, also, drop more hearts on Death Um I don't stress a whole lot, but I get like post stress. I'll get like stressed about something. After it's happened. And it's really stupid. Because it's like at that point there's nothing I can do to change. Change what happened. Even if it went well. If it's a stressful situation. In the moment I won't be that stressed. But once it's over I'm like damn that was stressful. And I'll start feeling stressed. After it. Which just isn't logical at all. I don't know how many other people get that. That's definitely like a, a weird mental health trope sort of thing. Um, <laughs> oh that was. Very very bad. Because now I'm on one heart. Bollocks. I didn't think that I'd do a full heart of damage to me, as is. But that has put me in a not-so-good position here. I'm, I'm very displeased with myself. Mmm, this could be real dangerous. Especially with tank boys. Tank boys are good, but they can so easily hit you. You just gotta not be standing near the enemies ever. Hey, there you go. That, that, that at least puts us into safety zone. I think I'm gonna try that for secret room as well. Teleport Isaac to the error room is something I will hold on to for the end of the floor. Thank you. Reflections are still really bugged with hair physics. It's funny. Damn, this this room is fucking awful. Also, it doesn't help that my tank boys are just like, eh, I'm going to chill way over here where I can't see the enemy. Yeah, you do that, buddies. You do that for some reason. Good, good. Um, spawns are random. I'm guessing this is just like... Oh, uh, it's literally a one you set. I thought it was a trinket for some reason. Cool, binky. Nice. Uh, that's good. We'll take that. Ooh, birthright. Horror Babylon is activated. Regards to health, dead bird is always active. That's nice as well. Oh, dude, we are... We are getting some good stuff here. Let's see if we get some more money and we can buy that. Although that has been bugged in the past, so we'll, we'll see if it still is. But... Having Horror Babylon activated all the time is very, very helpful. It now means we don't have to particularly worry about our HP, which I very much like. We need to get up to 13 cents somehow, which I'm not sure if we're going to be able to do, but I'll try my best. Tank Boy, can you not, please? I, ne I never see these enemies. Where, where, where the hell did you come from? But oh, that room isn't over either. How? How is that room not over? What didn't I kill? Was it you? Ah, it was you. More keys. Oh, half soul heart there that I did not see. Very nice for protecting our devil deal. Probably still go angel heal though. Um, right. Pop in here real quick. Bone heart there, nice. Damn, 
Damn it, money. Where art thou? Really? You're gonna blow up the one fucking skull in here and produce an enemy? How dare you, game. Also, I like having Dead Bird activated all the time, too. That's just nice. It's not, like, insane. It's just nice. Right. There's a penny in here. Single penny. I don't think we're going to be able to get the library card, unfortunately. As much as I'd like it. Because uh, right now, our, our active is completely valueless. So, we've already had Pageant Boy as well. So, it's not like we can bank on getting Pageant Boy. Oh, for fuck's sake. Oh, man. Goddamn hate that shit. <laughs> The tank boy is doing some good stuff right now. I find this boss really stressful as well. Can never really predict what he's doing. Don't know his attacks well enough. But we got him though. We got him. We do get toothpicks, which is rather nice. And unfortunately, we will back out of here and use corruption. Give us an error room. Wait, we'll let this guy birth. Because I don't know what he's going to give us. Spawns a glitched item. Oh, that is so risky. Let's see, let's see. Killing enemy has a 20% chance to deal damage around Isaac. Upon taking damage, spawn a key to the heart tier. What? Grants Linger Bean. Killing enemy has a 20% chance uh, to deal damage around me. Okay, that seems good. That seems not not like it'll kill me. Also, the fact that there's so many things here means I can actually pick if I want a curse or not, which is really nice. Let's go down. But that's that's not a particularly bad glitched item there. Not a particularly bad glitched item at all. Basically, we just get Linger Bean, which is fine. And we gain um, the ability on to, to do damage around us whenever we kill an enemy. Oh, well, 20% chance whenever we kill an enemy. Which is not bad. And then spawn a key to the heart tier on occasion, which when we get hit, which I don't actually know what that means, but I, it's definitely not bad, so. I think we're all okay. I think we're all alright. Um, deals 40 damage to everything in the room, deals one heart of damage. After the first use in a room, deals half a heart, removes heart. This is literally a strictly better version of a. Uh, of our current active, so. Thank you for that, I guess. Really, it's going to knock that guy miles away. Some of, some of us, like, that we've got, I think it's our cat heads are doing, like, crazy knockback, which is causing some disruption. Cyst would be rather nice. I'd like to grab Cyst. Oh, that was a very bad hit. Oh, we gained a half heart at the end of that room there for some reason. Not quite sure why. Uh, what do we have that's doing that? When... When we... Take damage... When we take damage, at the end of the room we heal a half heart. Is that something to do with that glitched item? Is that what the key to the heart tier is doing? I'm going to test this theory. Hit me. Yeah, I just gain a half heart back. Intriguing. Well, that's pretty useful. Teleport. Moon card. Plantarium disc, obviously. We'll go with a moon card for the next floor, I think. So we might be invincible or it might just be like a saving grace sort of thing where once we lose the soul heart it's gone forever sort of thing. I don't know. Genuinely don't know, but either way I think it's a good thing we've got this. Let's just keep pushing along for now though. I still don't really understand how this gemstone planetarium item actually works. Extra half soul heart there. Our health is actually still pretty bad, even with the setup we've got going on. It's kind of intriguing. Um, yeah, let's just go in here and get this done. Like, sticks the gems to them, but I don't know what all the gems do. This one's just circling around him for ages. You got him. Some extra HP is not bad. 
It's been a bit of a weird one here. We can go straight to secret room here as well, which is kind of nice. Unfortunately, it wasn't that nice because the secret room was worthless. Planetarium disc, I should say, will I be running out right about now? Damn. Sometimes those are so worthless. That wasn't bad, though. We got our bombs back and then some extra. Yeah, I'm hoping we can swap out this active at some point, because this one is just not great. But I think right now we've got a pretty good setup. Bearthrights definitely put us in a way safer spot, because normally we'd have to take a devil deal to sort of be able to enable Eve with another, like, while being able to take another active. So it's nice to be able to take Angel safely. Yeah, we just gained another heart. I, I need to... I don't want to take the damage, but I need to get rid of a full soul heart to see if it still heals me a half a soul heart every time or not. So I'm unsure. But right now we are... We are sitting very, very pretty. Oh, dude, so I took a full soul heart of damage there. Okay, no. If I take a full soul heart of damage, the soul heart disappears. Not let that guy get me this time. That was a little bit stupid of me, wasn't it? A little bit stupid. Yeah, my tank boys aren't doing a whole lot at the moment. They're just kind of here. Just kind of chilling. I see that rocket, you fucker. I saw that rocket and I tried my goddamn best to get out the way of it. Fucking little shithead. Dude! The f mm, I, I need to stop taking tank boys. They're so fun, but they're such shitheads. <laughs> if I lose my angel deal to you, I'm going to be very annoyed. There's no reason I should be on the health I'm on right now. Also, I'd like to buy the Glizzy, whatever it's called. So please do allow me to uh, do so. Oh god, I didn't expect you to do that. Come on, game, I need more pennies. These aren't pennies. I need two more. Get out of the way, pill. Oh, it was a tears off. <laughs> I just wanted to use it to get out of the way. Oh, I've got golden thingies here as well, so... Didn't want to accidentally go through to that room there. My bad. Right. I'm just going to use two bombs here. That's going to be too tedious to move these around. Spelunker's hat is great. Love that. Got an Airwaz as well. Love that. Airwaz we can pop down right here. We also found our thingy room here. Secret room. Some extra bombs is nice. Not going to give you to the beggar though. Got a burn heart as well to protect our angel deal, which is rather nice. And we do get ourselves a little old... Oh, look at that. Yes. Is there any, th any reason to, to this? Is this just a trap? Nah, whatever. Uh, let's go back to our shop real quick and buy the Glizzy. And then also, do remember that we have restock, so we can buy a second item off the bat as well, which could be kind of nice. I'd like to do that. See, it depends what it is, obviously. Let's have a little look-see. Glowing Hourglass is honestly better than what we're, we've got right now. Oh, right, it's 17. We, we can't quite afford it, unfortunately. I'll leave it for now, then. It's not urgent. It just would be nice kind of thing. Let's do our boss. But yeah, the minor stats we just gained is nice. The heart container is really the main thing I was purchasing that for. Dude, this guy has like a new attack every time I fight him. He's one of my favorite Fiendfolio bosses, but he's confusing as all hell. I just love that he has like a bunch of different flavors and forms. Who's your favorite Fiendfolio boss? That'd be interesting to know. Tears up, lovely. We did get ourselves an angel deal as well. And, ooh. 
I'm going to take Spirit Sword. It's been a while. It's been a while since I've taken Spirit Sword. I think it's pretty good. It still works with our fires as well, as you can clearly see. Um, we've got good health for it. I think, I think we've got um, the range fix as well for it. I'm pretty sure the forgotten range fix also works for this. So when we gain range increases, it should affect this. And we can also do this now, which is rather nice. Picks up other, other gaps. Honestly, bomb both of these. We've got the bombs. We might get something good. Like a black heart. Lovely. I wonder what the chance for black hearts is from the uh, from the skulls, because it seems to be reasonably low. Also, by the way, I did obviously see that there was a Burtman there. Ferryman, whatever you want to call it. I'm not going to play the Ferryman. I genuinely think they're too overpowered. I think it's a little unfair. They need increasing in price before I'll consider them an option, really. Otherwise, it's... On, on, like, regular runs, it's fine, but on a streak... Like, I don't mind abusing, like, a little bug that I find here or there. But, like, a mechanic like that that's clearly overpowered, or at least to me is clearly overpowered, I'm not going to abuse, um... To the fullest extent every single time. If my run's, like, in a dire, dire situation, then maybe I'll consider it. But in a situation like this, I'm not going to bother. Rerolls all pickups in the room. Unfortunate that that's only in the room. Not really of any value. We can obviously do shop again here. But yeah, our range at the minute isn't particularly good, but I believe if our range increases, we will... Um... Ooh. So I've just noticed, even if I don't get hit, I heal a half heart. So if I get a half heart from a penny, from my trinket, and do it and complete a room... Like this, watch. So it's a half heart now, and as long as I don't get hit, it becomes a full heart. That's that's so powerful. That must be something to do with my glitched item. I just can't see what else it would be. Check in here. That's pretty good stuff. We'll take that. Thank you. Damage is minor, but everything else is fine. Damage is obviously better here. Her throw doesn't do anything for us in this situation. Take that extra 1% deal chance though. That's definitely something I'll take. I am going to have to fire off my sword shots here. To get this guy. A little bit awkward to do, but it's not too difficult. Oh, I did not see you there. It's okay though. We're at full HP right now. Don't think we've got a worry in the world about HP. Also, Spelunker's hat giving us the... Uh, the info on the upcoming rooms is really, really nice. It's kind of like we've just got Holy Mantle. We can be a lot more aggressive than normal. Really, only two half hearts there, but not bad. Okay, we've got three in that room. Looks secret roomy to me, but I don't think it is. We've got a second secret room coming up somewhere over here. There you go. I'm liking Spirit Sword right now. Certainly always a risk. I'll take this pill. If it's a duplicate, I'll take it. Unfortunately, it's a health down, but honestly, a health down doesn't really mean all that much to us because we've got soul hearts aplenty. And we've got this crazy regening health shenanigan going on right now that's uh, helping us out a ton. It's just weird that it wasn't a listed effect is all. Um, That's actually pretty good, to be honest. That's actually pretty good, but I just think the survivability of our, of our trinket we currently have is insanely good, so I have to take it. Especially considering this half-heart business we got going on. When is it ever valuable to do a charge shot with Spirit Sword, by the way? Like, when is it ever more valuable to do a charge shot? You can just swing so fast, it doesn't make sense. Right, down we go. We're kind of speeding through this a little bit here, um, but with Spirit Sword, it's just, it's one of those items that's just like, it's fun to go fast with. It's kind of like playing as the bullet in, um, oh, we take full heart damage at the moment. It's, it's kind of like playing as the bullet in Enter the Gungeon. It just promotes going fast. So basically, we're always going to be looking for the pennies that we get from, uh, from, sorry, the hearts we get from pennies, because otherwise we're going to take full heart damage. Go 
Which we should get on occasion. Obviously, it won't be stupidly common, but this should give us one. There you go. Um, okay, I see. We've got another one there. I'm holding that one there because it's more valuable to take a half each time. Because basically, like I said, as long as we don't get hit in this room, it's going to become a full heart. So then we've got a spare full heart, essentially, waiting for us. Which is why I wanted to keep this trinket, because it's just so much more valuable. Fuck it, I can't hit him! Get over here, you! Eternal heart there. I really don't need any more red hearts right now, so I'm fine for that, thank you. Devil. Is that just two devil cards? One of them's a hanged man, I guess. There's a tears up here. I guess I'll use it. Not that tears means anything to us, but... My bad on that hit there. Oopsie daisy. Try not to get hit twice in here. Grab that. Quickly go back into our secret room and grab the half soul heart once again. We're doing this min-maxing business here. It's working. We are seemingly going the right way as well. Thanks to uh, Spolunker's hat for letting us know. Can't remember what those guys do now. Okay, here we go. Boss time. We got a card. I'll at least check it. Queen of Clubs. Grants Dr. Fetus. Um... I guess that could be useful. Bad hit there, my bad. Hearty, heartery, red. I don't know what that is. What's a heartery? So it's a battery heart. I don't know what that means. That did damage to me. Plus one golden heart, plus two broken hearts. Um, broken hearts can now be used for devil deals. Are we likely to get a devil deal at all? I don't really see us getting a devil deal, so I'm not going to take that. It's a good item, but like when we've got such access to HP, I think taking broken hearts isn't that valuable. On a regular run, I probably would take that. Even with only the chance of two more devil deals coming up. I just think this run particularly, we have the ability to be on full health quite a lot, and so we should keep that ability. There you go, we got an angel deal anyways. Oh, beautiful. What does this do? Instantly kills any enemy when damaged to half of their HP, one quarter of their HP for bosses, but obviously this is just way more damage, so... Yeah. That's a hard choice, but that that, that other item seems very, very good, because it, it, it's effectively doubling your damage, but unfortunately not against bosses. But this is straight up just adding 10 damage on to our 7 something damage that we had before. Which I think is pretty valuable. Oh. And now actually our, uh, our thingy shot, our sword shot that we shoot out will home. My bad there. Luck Penny. We'll grab that. While that does its thing, I'll try and get a half soul heart from here. Darn tootin'! No half soul heart for us. I can't count on that every time, unfortunately. It's just gonna be what it is. It is what it is. Ooh, a spin down. Thank you, I'll take that. Yeah, I like having the herming on those shots, that's rather nice. There you go, baby. Back up to full HP. This is why I don't want to take the broken hearts. Which makes so much more sense. Just wish I could get even more range going. I, we have had some range increase. Alright, so we've got the spin down. I don't really know what I'm going to use the spin down on, I'll be honest. But it's it's there for when we need it, I guess. Um, I'm just keeping this, thank you. This has been a, yet another pretty goddamn easy run. It's not won yet, but I, I, I hesitate. Uh, I'm, I'm not very hesitant to say I think it will be a win. <laughs> uh, also, our our fires, when we fire the fires from um, Crackling Slack, they, they also have Herming now. Um, because of thingy. Oh, Filigree Feather. Pretty good. Uh, yeah, they also have Herming now.
Beautiful. Got some hearts lying in wait for us there. Again, we can easily see when we're going the right way here because Spelunker's hat, which is awesome. Makes traveling way easier. Check this out just in case. It's a five room, but I really don't think a five room does a hell of a lot for us on this floor. There's not much to gain on this floor. Okay. Took a bit of damage there, I shouldn't have. But don't fret, don't worry. We have a soul heart here that I completely missed, apparently. My bad. And we also have this in here. Lovely stuff. Right, last floor. We've got our glass spin down ready and waiting as well. So we'll, we'll see if we can make some good use of that. Good stuff, baby. Good stuff. Right, let's have a little look-see here. Um... Toy drum probably be better here. The pale would be good. Okay, all of these are worth spinning down. Grants a unique familiar for each character. We'll see what we get here. I don't even know what we got there. Oh, maybe that wasn't meant to be grabbable because I didn't actually have. Um, I think that's. I think that's meant to be the tainted birth, right? Crucifix is nice. That's good. And this is this is whatever, but it's better than our current active. It opens up secret rooms and stuff, so well, why not? Tech Zero. We also got the Lifeblood Syringe. Lifeblood Syringe is actually very good for survivability, so I'll grab it. It's not entirely necessary with how good this run already is, but... Ooh, I'm loving the way that our uh, fires are looking. Like that green plus white blue. It's kind of lovely. Don't know why I went in here. It's clearly a wrong direction. My bad. We can fly, thank you. Okay, this is the wrong way. Wow, annoying room. You see how, you see how many of our uh, cat familiars we ended up getting, though? What, what, what are we on now by the last floor? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten of these bad boys. Why it's actually pretty good to get it first floor. Not that it's necessary that we need ten. Like, obviously our run would be literally exactly the same without them. But in case it wasn't, in case our run was going bad, having ten extra dudes firing for you is never a bad thing, right? Found our boss already. Slightly annoying room here. One last geezer. Quickly open this up and see if there's anything crazy in here. I mean, to be fair, actually, extension cord would be better for this fight because now all of these guys are connected. It is indeed extra damage. But yeah, I think we're pretty much okay to just face tank all the damage here. Yeah, we are. Once we get past the initial armor, you just die straight away. Either way, I hope you guys did enjoy that one. A pretty insane run for our next streak win. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys in the next one.